In this video, we will learn how we can install SQL Server 2012. Today, we will see the default installation. Click on Setup. On this screen, click on Installation. Now, click on New SQL Server Standalone Installation. It validated Setup Support Tools. Click on OK. It validated various product update online. Click on Next. It further validated various rules and passed all of them. Windows Firewall is just a warning, so we'll ignore and continue further. On your production server, you may want to approach your administrator and validate the various settings for the Windows Firewall. Enter the product key, click Next, accept the licenses, make sure you go through the licenses very quickly, click Next, and here it gives you three options. Currently, I'm just selecting the default option of SQL Server Feature Installation. Click Next. On this screen, you can select the option which you want to select for installation. For demonstration purpose, I'll select all of them. Click Next. It says Operation Completed. Click Next. Here, I'm not going to select Name Instance, but I will just continue with Default Instance. Click Next. Click Next. Here, I'll not change any of the option and will continue. However, you can go and change the startup service type. You can change the collation over here. However, in this installation example, I'll continue with the default collation. Click Next. Here it gives me two options, Windows Authentication Mode and Mix Mode. I'll select the Mix Mode and will give user password. Additionally, I'll add my current user as an administrator by clicking over here. I'll just select the data directory which is default folder. I'm going to enable the file stream because I know I'll be using it later on. Click Next. Here, I'm not going to change anything beside adding current user. Click Next. On the reporting service configuration, I'll continue with the default option and select Next. Distributor Replay Controller. Distributor Replay Controller, I'll add current user and we'll move to Next. Here it will ask me the name. I'll just give a name as the name of my computer and hit Next. Select the error reporting and then continue. It will once again check the installation configuration rules and if all passes, it will continue Next. Gives you a quick summary of what it's going to install. Continue with Install by clicking here. You can see the installation is about to complete. An installation is complete. Click on a close. Now open SQL Server Management Studio. Click on a connect and it will pop up connect to server pop. And it will pop up connect to the server screen. Click on a connect again. And we have installed successfully SQL Server 2012.